I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Welcome, 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 my dear friend, to another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studios. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here coming to you with another video that will bless you and take you to a greater glory. My dear friend, if you are in a place where you are growing and you are making progress, but for some reason, now at this point in time, things have drawn to a halt and you sort of feel like you're in stagnation, then today you're in the right place. This message is for you. This message can apply to your spiritual walk, it can apply to your purpose, your destiny, it can apply to your life, your relationship life, it can apply to your marriage, it can apply to your career, it can apply to your workplace. Whatever area that you feel like this, this message can be applied and it can work. Being Friday, we pray Friday financial prayers and I want to give you some keys for growth and success that will help you to go to a greater glory. So in saying that, we're going to begin. And as I begin to share this with you, I want to encourage you wherever you are, welcome the Holy Spirit. Let us lift up our hands and say this with me. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come Lord Holy Spirit and take over control. Help me to pray, help me to press in, and help me to receive from the Father today. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, the Bible says in the book of Philippians chapter 3 from verse 13 to verse 14, it says, Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead, I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. I'll read that to you once again, because there are many revelations that can be received from the scripture. And one of those is in the avenue of growth. One of those is in the avenue of breaking stagnation. One of those is in the avenue of breaking through thresholds and sealing limits on our life. It says, brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead. I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Now, my dear friend, one thing we need to learn in life, in any area of our life, even in our spiritual walk, even in our purpose, even in our destiny, even in the area that God has called us to be, is that we have to continue to push on. And if we start to think that we have made it or taken hold of it, then we begin to limit our growth potential. And ultimately, we can actually bring that to a halt. Forget what is in the past. Forget old ideas that don't work anymore and begin to develop new ideas that work. Forget things that used to work in the past but now are not yielding you results and begin to focus on doing research and learning what works. A business or an individual can only go as far as its current capacity can take it. And capacity in this regard includes what is known and what is being implemented. Basically your current strategies and the results that that can yield you. To grow further past the maximum potential of what you can already do, one must work on developing that capacity. You must work on developing yourself. You must invest in yourself. Invest in time in prayer. Invest in time in reading the Word of God. Invest in time in doing research. Invest in time in learning. It's not a bad thing to learn. Observe and learn. Begin to understand how things work. Begin to develop that capacity. One facet to increasing capacity is observing and learning or taking time to do research and development. As a man of God, I want to encourage you because it is my desire to see the children of God grow. In all walks of life, all around the world, I want to see God's children grow. I want to see the born again believers go to a greater glory and a greater level. I encourage you today, take time to observe and do research and development in your life so that you can find more effective strategies and efficient ways 
to grow. Now, with that being said, my dear friend, it's important that we discuss another facet to this. To observe and learn, you need to try new strategies or do what you are not already doing and see what works and ultimately you need to adapt. With the constantly changing world that we live in, we must always be willing to adapt to what is required as long as it's okay in the lens of God's word. So basically, you look at what you're trying to adapt and do and see is this okay? Would Jesus do this? Would God permit of this? Would the word of God approve of this? But you can't adapt unless you first try. Therefore, don't be afraid to try new things. As long as what you are trying is not detrimental to your values, your health or your spiritual walk with God, then it's okay to try it. The enemies to growth and discovering avenues of growth is the comfort zone and being afraid to try new things. And the strength of your comfort zone holding you back is ultimately rooted in fear. So ultimately, we see that the enemy to growth and success and breaking through into greater glories is fear. When you find something that works, don't be afraid to implement it so that you can go to a greater glory, so that you can take hold of new heights, so that you can walk into new doors. You see, my dear friend, when God opens a door of opportunity to you, you won't be able to walk in that door if you are so held on to your comfort zone. Because going into a new door that God opens, a new opportunity, a new avenue of blessing in your life, will require you to get out of that place where you are comfortable, where you feel safe and secure, and go into that place that tests you and puts your faith to work. Remember, at the end of the day, we walk by faith and not by sight. And therefore, if we as people who walk by faith and not by sight want to grow, we need to be willing to put that faith into action. We need to be willing to take that faith and make it work for us. We need to be willing to take that faith and walk in it. That is the key to grow. That is the one key that can ensure your constant development and success across all stages of life. If you want to enjoy continued success and growth and you don't want to experience stagnation in your life, then you need to be willing to observe, learn, adapt and improvise. You need to be willing to do what it takes. You need to be willing to do what God requires you to do. And don't be afraid to speak to God. When you're trying new things, developing new strategies, speak to God about them. Ask Him what He thinks and He will speak to you. He is always speaking. Some people say God doesn't speak, but the reason why they say that is they are not listening to what He is saying. If you learn from the Word of God how to listen to God, then you can hear what God is saying, and you can testify to the fact that I'm saying God is always speaking. Therefore, if you speak to God and you ask Him what He thinks, He will reply. He'll tell you what He thinks you should do. He will tell you and convict you in your heart if that's a good idea or if that's a bad idea because God sees all. God sees the past, present and future all at once. The Bible says you will hear a voice from behind you saying this is the way, walk in it. And therefore, we need to take heed to the voice of God and we need to walk in it. As born again believers, we need to remain as the salt and light of the world. We need to develop new strategies so that in whatever area that God has called us to be, that salt and light is more salty and more brighter and not growing dim. One of the easiest ways to limit yourself is to give in to the fear to try new things. So from today onwards, my dear friend, on this special day when we're praying special financial prayers, I want to encourage you in your life, in your marriage, in your relationships, in your community, in your business, in your calling, in your purpose, in your destiny, in your job, in your career. Don't be afraid to try new things. As long as those things that you try are in line with the Word of God, and God will bless you. And listen to God's leading and His instructions, even as you take time out to learn. One thing that can also limit us is becoming too busy. Because when we become too busy and distracted, we start to neglect 
the time that is needed, that needs to be invested, that needs to be set aside for development of new ideas, learning new things, and expanding our own personal growth and potential. Listen to God and follow Him, and you'll go up and you'll be successful. But in saying that, let's go into a time of prayer, my dear friend. Wherever you are, let us begin by praising God. As we discern His presence, then I'll begin to pray for you, and I trust, know, and believe God will bless you in this regard, and He'll take you to a greater glory. So in saying that, let us begin to praise Him. Father, we just praise You and we thank You. We thank You, we thank You, we thank You for another day that You've given us. It is a brand new day. It is a great and a wonderful day to do new things, to explore new avenues, to learn new things. And You have made it possible for us, Father, and for that we give You praise in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, I discern God's presence. And I know, I trust, I believe God is going to bless you. So wherever you are, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Now, as we go into a time of prayer, I want to encourage you comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement. And even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin. Father, release the grace over my dear friend that my dear friend will continue growing, will continue making progress in that business, in that career, in that purpose and destiny, in that spiritual walk, in that marriage, in the relationships around my dear friend, in my dear friend's personal growth and knowledge and wisdom, that my dear friend will continue growing. Release grace and courage over my dear friend, that my dear friend will not be afraid and because of that fear stay in their comfort zone. But rather, my dear friend, will keep on going and press on to greater glories and greater heights. I ask this in Jesus' name. Give my dear friend massive success and break every avenue of stagnation in my dear friend's life. I ask this in Jesus' name. And I thank you for miracles, signs and wonders that you are doing even today. Miracles, signs and wonders that you are doing in my dear friend's life. And my dear friend who's watching this video will go up to a greater glory, a greater level a greater dimension, a greater altitude, in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen and Amen. My dear friend, God bless you and God keep you. May God give you continued success and continued growth. In all that you do, may you continue going up. And may you taste and see of the goodness of God in the land of the living. I hope and trust this message has blessed you. I hope and trust this message has given you insight and revelation. And I hope and trust and pray that you will go to a greater glory. As God wills for you to grow, God wills for you to be healthy. God wills for you to make progress, both spiritually and physically. God wills for you to go to a greater glory. And He is willing to help you. And He will. Put your trust in Him and He will take you to a greater glory. But in saying that, we come to the end of this video from myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez. God bless you and goodbye. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.